Thanks for spending just a minute thinking about God's truth with me today. Today we focus on the truth of Colossians 3.10. But let's review for a second. The Apostle Paul started chapter 3 by encouraging us as believers to set our hearts and minds on things above. This was based on the fact that we have been raised with Christ and simultaneously we've died to ourselves. Then Paul gives us a list of behaviors that we need to quit if we truly want to demonstrate that we follow Christ in our daily lives. No more sexual immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, covetousness, no more anger, wrath, malice, slander, or obscene talk, no more lying to each other. Quit all these things because the old sinful self has been taken off of us, like taking off an old coat. Christ is now our life. We will appear with him in glory. And so now from here, Paul describes this new position we're in through faith in Jesus. And you've put on the new self, which is being renewed in knowledge after the image of its creator. It's time to start the clock and break it down. We have put on the new self. When God saves us through Jesus by faith, we are regenerated by God's power. The new self doesn't act like the old self. It's like Jesus said, I'm the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Or in 1 John we read, if we say we have fellowship with him while we walk in darkness, we lie and do not not practice the truth. Now listen to this. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, that's like walking in your new self. We have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus his son cleanses us from all sin. But here we're also taught that as we follow Jesus day by day, as we walk in the light, he renews us. Our knowledge of God grows as we pursue our relationship with him. We are being renewed in knowledge after the image of our creator. That means God's conforming us. Our thoughts are our actions, our attitudes, our words. By following Jesus, we're being conformed into the image of Christ, to be like him. What greater blessing in life could there be than to be conformed to the image of Christ? Thoughts and comments are welcome below. Please remember to share this verse with a friend. And think about this today. By knowing Jesus, you have been given a new self, a regenerated life in Christ. And by walking in the light, even as he is in the light, our new self is being renewed in knowledge. We're learning more and more about God, and we're being conformed into the image of Christ. Serve him well today. God bless you.